through that water point out there? Yeah, I'm gonna stay from here to the back. Here, uh, what do you think would be easier if I could jump in? We didn't wanna. This class is called Biology of Pacific Salmon. It's a class for fishery students that. Um, uh, students who are interested in freshwater ecology and management take um, and it's focused on one of our major resources around here of course uh, salmon and, uh, and steelhead there's lots of interest in conservation and managing them as a fishery um, and they learn all about uh, those uh, those things in this class along with the basic biology and ecology of the of the species they just got us some on it over there what is it so uh, was it a uh -huh. yeah we got another one. Oh yeah where do you go? <laughs> Not a great view, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, the sampling today uh, is we're actually doing it for a couple of other organizations. People from Caltrout and McKinleyville Community Services District have a habitat restoration project proposed near here that would be intended to create winter habitat for salmonids. Uh, in the winter time, when uh, when the river flows are up, they need places to get out of the flow, uh, like these little side channels that we're sampling right now. Um, so they have a proposed project to build that kind of stuff, but we don't really know what kind of fish are using the, these kind of habitats down here right now, if there's already some on it's down here uh, using these off channels. So that's what we're trying to find out, sampling to see what's already here before they start doing more work. We're in the perfect location for studying salmon. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a big, it's a big deal up here. It's a, it's a big commercial fishery up here as well as a huge recreational fishery. So um, it's cool to be a part of be a part of studying that. Is this supposed to have like the three to five of the, of the dorsal yeah. fins whitened? Is that yes. correct? That normally, right. Uh, but yes. I thought that the cohos had the sickle shape. The coho around. does have the sickle shape. So the big guy is a coho. Ah. And the two little yeah. ones are not. Yeah. What so are they? they're Chinook. Yeah. All right. That's why I came to this school for the fisheries program. It's in the perfect location, uh, Six Rivers. We got um, access to all kinds of different watersheds and rivers and the ocean is right there. So we have a lot of salmon habitat around here compared to like other schools in the state and probably in the country as well. It's a pretty rare opportunity, I feel like. like. We're pretty blessed to be able to come out here and enjoy a beautiful day and get wet. There's a stickleback right here. Another cotted. One stickleback, this is sculpin. I think this is another sculpin right there. You got a count, Nick? I caught I had three. There's four. four so that's seven. Yeah. Seven. Teachers here will try to accommodate you as much as they can to like help you get a job. Like my advisor, Tim Mulligan, like he's helped me so much. He's become like a great friend of mine. And yeah, he's always pointing me in the right direction. I feel like just really, I don't know, really good people up here. I feel like the, uh, this kind of experience for students in a class like this, most of the students who go through freshwater. Uh, the freshwater option in our program go on to jobs where they're working on salmon and trout conservation if they stay in this area. So hands-on experience like this is exactly what they're going to be doing when they move on to their first jobs. We implement so many different techniques in our field trips and this is I think our fourth field trip in the field um, this semester um, which is pretty cool. We've done electro fishing and now we're seining and these are all techniques that are that are used in the real world um, and they know that HSU students are are using them in class so they have a better background in the field work and, and actually in you know in the lab work too. It's just a fun place to be and it's a good environment to, to do this kind of stuff in. Being up here gives you like a I don't know, way better advantage of getting a job. All our teachers are really like entwined with the local community, the local scientific community. The, um, I personally do like work with a professor of mine doing like marine protected area with surveys around the area and he like works with a bunch of state officials and just being out there, it's fun work, you get paid, and you just, you're, you're meeting people, you're meeting people in the industry, and you're meeting, making connections. So, like, uh, it's, can't really ask more than that. It's an amazing resource that we have around here for students, especially fishery students interested in uh, salmon ecology, salmon conservation, because there's all these neat places that we can come sample. I mean, we're uh, 10 minutes from campus right now uh, uh, in a place where there's uh, wild salmon populations and lots of conservation issues, lots of habitat restoration work going on that we can visit and find out what people are doing and uh, give students a chance to, uh, to learn skills like this. So 
uh, not many places uh, where people, where the students have a chance to, um, uh, to go out and do things like this that are really directly what they're going to be doing in their jobs uh, um, when they're still in school.